Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and I just hacked drifting in Need for Speed Unbound. I'm going to show you how to get three stars and beat your rivals so easily. Let's go! Alright, real quick before we get into the video, if you're looking for any of my builds, including the ones in this video, you can go to my website, MilitiaGamingCo.com. I've got a builds page for both Need for Speed Heat and Need for Speed Unbound, just click that and you can get access to the spreadsheet where I've got everything listed. There's not that many builds in the Unbound spreadsheet yet, but it's getting bigger as every day goes on. All right, let's get into this one. As most of you watching this know, drifting in Need for Speed Unbound is, well, weird. This video isn't going to show you how to make it normal either. I haven't figured that out yet. But it is going to show you how to easily beat the rivals and get three stars on all the drift sections around the map with a technique that looks really stupid, admittedly, but it works really, really well. Trust me, this is going to look ridiculous. <laughs> All right, in all seriousness, this method and build makes it so that you can string a series of micro drifts together for one long drift, thus getting you the three stars. Drifting in this game is not about speed or score or some random multiplier. It's about the distance you drift. That's it. So if you can be drifting literally the entire time that you're in the section, you will never fail. First up, the build. I haven't tested this on many cars yet, but I imagine it will probably work on most because it's really based on the handling tuning more so than the build of the car. So for this video, I'm using the RX-7 and I've got it fully built up with Elite everything, including an Elite supercharger for low RPM torque. Now, if you don't have enough money, I'm guessing that you can probably do this on a lower built or a lower spec car, you know, maybe a pro or a supercar. But like I said, I haven't really tested it, so I'm not sure. I've got neutral suspension, elite drift tires, and elite differential so that I can max out my drift percentage. In the handling tuning, I have the drift percentage at 100%, steering sensitivity at 5, and downforce at 5. This is so wrong when it comes to drifting in most games, but you don't want the car to break loose completely for this method. Traction is off and drift entry is on both. So to do this, you will need to be in a manual gearbox setting. So pause the game, go to settings, go to driving, and then switch it over from automatic to manual if you don't already play like that. If you're not used to this, don't worry, you won't be shifting like 90% of the time you're driving. As you approach the drift section, just start swerving left to right, left to right, like you're seeing in this clip and your car will start to micro drift. There's a couple of signs that you can see when your car does micro drift. You will see the smoke coming off of the tires. However, you will not feel your controller vibrating. Now, I don't know if you play with vibration on, I always do, but if you don't, you won't have that signal. But that's really the signal that you're micro drifting is that the car is producing a tire smoke but it's not vibrating your controller. Micro drifting is weird because you actually don't lose control of your car. You are steering it and it feels like you have complete control. You're also getting distance for drifting. So it's a very strange concept. You can almost notice this too when you're racing. When you go into a micro drift, you have complete steering control of your car, but you're drifting and you're gaining burst NOS. It's kind of the same concept, but much, much slower. And because your tires are not completely broken loose, like I said, you have 100% control over the steering. It kind of feels like you're just steering back and forth because, well, you are. What you're watching and what I just told you is the basics of it. That's what you want to do. But there are a few things that you should keep in mind. There is a timer for each section. And because you're traveling so slow, sometimes you're going to simply need to get your distance in order to beat your rival and get your three stars and then just race to the end so you can finish in time. Otherwise, the run will not count. In that case, it's better to shift into second gear when you've gotten the required distance to just drive to the finish. Second gear is obviously a lot faster and you don't have to worry about the distance anymore because you've already gotten what you need. Also note that on longer sweeping turns, it gets a little tougher to manage the back and forth method. So feel free to break into a full drift every once in a while there. 
the best way to do that is to shift into second again and pretend you're just drifting normally. This method with this build is guaranteed to work, but since I haven't tested other cars and other builds, I think it would be pretty awesome of you guys to test it out with a variety of different builds and reply to the comment that I'm going to pin to the top of this video with your build that works. Make sure you include the handling tuning because I think that's pretty important to drifting. It's possible that with any car whose drift tuning is 100%, this method might work, but I just haven't tested it out completely yet. I know for sure it works with the RX-7, so if you're struggling to make it happen on these drift sections, this method should help you, although I know it's ugly. I plan on testing more drift builds to try and give you a build that actually feels good and looks like drifting, so stay tuned to the channel for that. As always, if you have any questions about this or any of the videos, please do not hesitate to send me a DM. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you want to see your name up here at the end of every video with these legends, you can become a Heat 5 member today. Just click the join button and select the Heat 5 membership. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.